Blue Eyes back with another live stream, and the day is upon us where Dragon's Dogma 2 is available to play based on where you are located in the world. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to dive in for a first look uh, and probably have to adjust some settings to get used to the game and the user interface as well as uh, get an introduction to the campaign and import our characters that we created over the last two weeks in uh, Dragon's Dogma Standalone Character Creator. So let's jump into it right now. All right, so let's go to options real quick. I did make some of these changes already. I toggled hold to hail, um, camera settings, I inverted my uh, Y axis because I always do that. Projectile aiming. Oh. Y inverted. They have three different inverted axes. Uh, projectile aiming and just regular camera. So I want all three of those uh, inverted. Auto sheath. I turned that off. It says uh, select whether... Or not, you want weapons to automatically be sheathed if they are left drawn for a period of time. Turn that off. Oh, fuck it, I'll turn it back on. Um, I left these as default. Uh, interface. The only thing I did was I took enemy HUD off. I don't like seeing HUDs everywhere for all over the place. I'm probably going to minimize the HUD the more I get used to playing the game. But for starters, uh, I'm going to leave a lot of it on um but i'm gonna minimize it as time goes on i get more used to it um uh there was a downside i have the deluxe edition uh me and my friends were talking about if you had the deluxe edition and you um you change the music uh to the original music from the original game uh, we were hoping that we got the original score from the original release of the game back on 2012 not the score that was used uh, for the Dark Arisen release which they lost the uh, the licensing rights to the original score because there was some kind of dispute with uh, the artist that created the original score so uh, unfortunately uh, that wasn't resolved, and it's just the Dark of Risen intro, which I don't think fits this theme as much, so I turned that off. Um, languages are set to English, English, English. Uh, and we want to be able to rent other people's pawns. I have friends in the, the system already, plus mine. So, uh, save changes. Alright, let's go into the introduction. I watch uh, Digital Foundries. Actually, I'll shut up. Let's just watch. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. It is a lovely party. As our Fevremont suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the sovereign. Uh, 
Agatha! Agatha! Such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your Majesty, of how long I have awaited this moment. The mighty throne of humanity. Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold, a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be! For only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Who is? Oh shit. Thou who wouldst slay the dragon. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Oh look, we have a prison. Okay, the rodents. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. You can either select a prisoner to use as a preset or select a hooded prisoner to customize your character's appearance from a blank slate. So we've already created our characters, uh, both our pawn and our arisen. So uh, we're going to just see what these other characters look like. Oh, there's Savan from the first game. Are you the one, then? Is it you? No? Mm, it is hard to say. I just want to see all the varieties of uh, default pawns. I mean, Arisen. Uh, oh, that person is very sickly looking. That the developers the came up with. If the I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, they'll... Aye, it must be you. You've got an arrogant look about you. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. Not you, then. Fie! Whichever of you tis is going to regret wasting my time! <laughs> it's gonna There's be him! No mistaking it. You're the one! Use existing character data to create the Arisen. The answer is yes! Is we're gonna bring in Fat Aaron. So, so I recreated my likeness, uh, the out of shape version of me, <laughs> um, which I uh, just had a double hernia surgery, so I haven't really been able to do much physical fitness. But I'm at the point where I can start getting back into it. So I wanted to have my arisen reflect to the best of my ability my current self. So this is he. 
I'm not going to bother adjusting anything because I've spent literally two weeks making this character. Uh, I did want to potentially change the, the blueness of my eyes because I do have blue eyes, but we could do that later. For now, we'll just leave it like this. Oh, shit. It went up real fast. All right, 44. It sucks I couldn't give my guy more a little bit more uh, wrinkles on the forehead, but um, that's all right. All right, so my name is Aaron, just like my real-life self. And uh, Arturo was the moniker I selected because Aaron wasn't an option. And uh, Arturo uh, has lineage in multiple different languages to uh, kind of be translated to someone uh, of strength uh, or a bear and um, I thought that was kind of cool so that's what I went with finalize character and proceed yes I ill like that look in your eyes tis queerly brazen for a pawn Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. They think I'm a pawn. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. This guy's an Come asshole. Along, you feckless dullards. All right, one more, one or more add-ons added. You will gain access to them as you progress through the game. Wait, I'm gonna talk to these guys first. Nothing to say. Hmm. What about you? Hmm. No. What about hmm. you? Oh, I'm just going. Hmm. So hmm. Hmm. Just about anywhere. All right. I, I'm gonna make. Uh. Ooh. That's the first time I've seen the menu system. Uh. Let's. Go to system manager settings. All right, options. Let's go to sound. So I'm gonna turn. What's this? Background music, sound effects. I wish I could bring up the NPC voices above everything else. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn everything else down just a smidgen. And leave the voice volume up higher. So that way it's a little bit uh, louder. Photo mode. Whoa, I didn't mean to turn it. <laughs> All right, so left thumbstick rotates. Um, inclination. Feel the view on focusing distance. Effects. And we keep vignetting on vignette coverage. Yeah, I want to bloom. Not that much. A little bit. I just want to see what you could do in the photo mode. I'm going to leave this default. Where's default? None. There we go. Frames and logos. Square, rectangle, letterbox, 4x3. Logo type, Dragon's Dogma. Ok, 
Capcom logo. I don't I don't even see the Capcom logo. Top center. Well, we'll put it on uh Oh there it is, I see it. Capcom logo position. I don't see the Capcom logo though. It's like Oh there we go, that's why. Put that in the middle. And the Capcom logo. Put it on the top right. You know what? Fuck that. Turn the Capcom logo off. Um, we got that copyright one. Screen filter on, off, HUD display, off, grid, off, on. All right, I want to make myself the focal point. There we go. Blur short range. All right, let's turn the blur. All right, take a screenshot, you push. I don't have the share button to take a screenshot because I have an elite controller. Um, I just want to get one good shot before we continue on. Your camera centers on your character. Um, you can't... Uh, I wish I made my character dirtier. I did make him dirty, but he's not dirty enough for being in jail. He should be filthy. <laughs> um... Kind of obsessed me that I'm not dirty. All right, that's good. All right, so to take the screenshot, there's a button I don't, I don't have. Um. So, uh, how do I do it then? If I don't have the button. Maybe I have to um, just take a screenshot with the Xbox and uh, and keybind um, another key later. All right, so let's hide everything. Try to remember. See how they did that? How do I hide everything? Reset. Oh, reset current category. Reset camera. Please use the Xbox Series X slash screenshot if you want to take a shot. The USB. Uh... All right, there we go. And screenshot. Although I do feel like I need to add more contrast. Effects brightness. It's a little too bright. It's too bright. It was definitely way too bright, actually. Uh, vignette coverage. Bloom on.
That's a little better. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so we're level one thief. Uh, just I had to take a screenshot. The very first day, very, very beginning of the game. Hmm. No one wants to talk. I figured I could get hmm. some information out of someone. I feel like the um, the camera spinning is a little slow. Options. I'm gonna go to options one more time. Sorry. All right. Options. Controls. Camera inverted. I feel like it needs to be adjust the speed, which the camera moves horizontally during normal gameplay. You know what? I'll do it later. I'll do one of my combat. Um. Probably just makes sense to do it right now. I don't say nothing to me. Hmm. I'm surprised they just let me walk around like this. They should be like beating me like I'm a filthy dog. I thought he said cocksucker at first. <laughs> Call on hmm. me if there's all I can aid you with. I've no need what to tell you. Deserve this, I Let my you. fur lie how it may. There's aught watching me. I swear it. Hail. Hmm. What are you hmm. up to? This is a very uh, miserable place to be in excavation site the hole mm -hmm. oh that looks like a gladiatorial coliseum right there Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. It's Rook from the original Dragon's Dogma. You ought not anger the Overseer. Let us proceed to the site. I will walk, sir. Oh, how do I check my inventory? Alright, so that's the map. Equipment. I said that I was given something. A garment doled out to laborers at the Agamemnon ruins, stained with the sweat and grime. Um, so we have body, legs... It really is simplified. We used to have torso, shirt, armor, gloves, boots, pants, and then leg armor. Uh, now it's simplified a lot more. All right. So we have no weapons, nothing on us, except for a lantern that's not lit. And... Uh, all 
I want to look at controls. How do I like the lantern? Button mapping. Oh, we can change the button mapping. Nice. All right, so how do I like the lantern? Left bumper and right D-pad. That's kind of shitty, actually. Uh, I'm definitely keybinding some of this stuff later. It won't let me, uh... It won't let me do it. I'm dead on my feet after today's progress, mate. That's not scarce. I can't go on like this. It is just another day, same as the one before it. Oh, this place gives me an ill feeling. Time for you to get to work. I want to slap this motherfucker right in the face. Scurry about. Pick up a boulder. Can't work as late as I used to anymore. All right, here's boulders. It looks like. Work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Everyone's as tired as I am, seems like. There's no fucking way we'd be able to we'd be able to pick up this boulder by ourselves. <laughs> this thing is cluttered. Pray leap over aught that poses a hindrance to you. Yeah, these are like quadruple the size of what a person could normally carry. A job well done. Now the next step is to. Is to what? Is to what, sir? What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Oh shit! And they're cast a stone already. No, the damn thing's been awoken. You but fell that fiend, even at the cost of your lives. Let's go, boys and girls. That's enough. Swift strikes are a thief's greatest weapon. Watch for an opening, then press your foot till they are overwhelmed. These may not carry. Let me get up towards the head. Their nimbleness allows them to dodge and swing attacks with ease. Get up towards the head! Get up towards the head! Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons never combat it. 
Oh, fuck! When delivering targeted strikes, I would recommend... The hell is it doing? This boat's ill. I ran away. I, I I was trying to hit it. It wouldn't let me hit it. It was like Are you on it ran away. It wouldn't let me hit it. You won't flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a fell curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. Escaped. Oh, you! Get back here! Quickly! Run! Way, Run, Rock! Run! Come this way. Let us flee. What about the brine? No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Nice. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. I definitely, this is going to be cool getting a chance to ride on the fucking griffin. I was trying to take a screenshot. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to interrupt the animation. <sighs> Don't shoot him down. I'm on his back. So this world is supposed to be about four times larger than uh, the first game. So I'm hoping it's really expansive. <sighs> oh shit, they got a blister. like a training camp
There's the brine. Wait. Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you alright? What happened here? I'm in prisoner clothes, so I should be. A griffin appears under one moment and falls immediate the next. And now suspicion. you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Well, there's anything worth investigating over here. How do I duck? Fashion allows you to move more quickly, but continuing, continuing stamina, yada yada. Reloading the game. If the Risen dies, you will be given an option to load from the last save, allowing you to resume your adventure. But the slight increase in the accumulation of the lost ga uh, gauge from its state at the moment of death. Border watch. Hmm. Alright, so that's that dash. Jump. I still have to get used to these controls. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay. Ooh. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Oh shit, here we go. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. If you find your strength fine, then buy the curative or have a bit of green wash. I'm so used to white trigger being an attack when it's X in this game. I'll show the sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Brander attacks are more destructive, but there are oft items to be scavenged from the... 
Yeah, I scavenged. Have you beheld the dragoners yet? I've not. I'm poor as fuck, so I, I need to fucking scavenge as much as I fucking can. Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. Why not? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? some berries or something over here total weight of the items you're carrying affects your movement speed the heavier your pack the slower your movement and the more stamina you will expend remaining light on your feet by sharing your burden with your pawns depositing items in storage at an inn or selling off anything you don't need Trying to carry too much at once will cause you to become over encumbered. In this state, you are unable to dash or jump, and you may need to discard items or give some things to your pawns to carry in order to free yourself up. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now hold on. Give me a fucking second. I have a funny feeling there's something around here. I'm poor and I'm hungry. And uh Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. I have a nose for uh, the fact that I feel like there's something of interest here. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Green warish are uh, consumables that are herbs that are let you heal up. All right. Shit, I'm fucked up. Can't just run off now. Oh shit. I need to eat something. I'm about to die. <laughs> what where is my food? And there we... Yeah, so, like, I knew that was going to fucking happen. All right, uh... Load from last save. Like, I picked up a bunch of curatives, and they weren't in my inventory. I don't know why they weren't there. I don't know how to duck, how to tumble, if I even can. Alright, I'm going to clear my controls again. System. Options. Controls. Alright. 
Grab, sheath draw, weapon up and switch, weapon skill. I don't know how you switch weapon skills. So X is light attack, Y is heavy, A is jump, B is examine, dash, weapon skill, four. Did it count when I looted this over here to get that gold? Yeah, it did. Okay. So I'm being summoned to a party. Hello. I'm gonna invite Knights. I'm gonna invite Knights talking to a party too. What's up? I'm just. I just started playing. So uh, you can wait. Let me make it so you guys can include your audio if you want. What? <laughs> uh, sorry, Corey, Corey's trying to ask me a question. What's up, Corey? Uh, you're going to have to uh, pick the character that's in the middle. That's I'll like, are you in the jail the sequence? Street, where it's like, like yeah, pick the cloaked figure, and then that will summon your character. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't know how to. Is there a way to crouch? Is there a crouch button? Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. Uh uh, I don't know if you if you're watching my stream or not, Night Stalker, but uh, I uh, I'm I'm traveling with uh that outpost guy after the Griffin crashed. I can summon Thaddeus. Z -z 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 -z. All right. My character should be dirtier. Arisen. We I didn't make him dirty enough. The pawns are worshipping me! Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before yeah, I'm right in the middle of a cutscene. Uh, give me, give me a moment. <sighs> I'm about to go into the rift right now. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. All right, use existing character data to create your pawn. Yes. Thaddeus is making his triumphant return, boys and girls, from Dragon's Dogma 1. Capcom's North American male pawn. Top 100 pawn list of all time. Thaddeus Maximus.
coming in as a fighter, calm, cool, strategic. He's going to kick some ass. Horns are oft called nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. Yeah. All right, so Thaddeus is here. It says, Pawns are oft called nomads, for we wander between this world and the many other realms with which we are connected. I am no exception. And my experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. I can see a scar, cool. It is my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn. And I will gladly use the knowledge I gain to guide you. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine, this is all beyond my ken. Hmm. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. So... What? You've no memories, you say. Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Yeah. All right, so I'm just, uh, I'm at the Border Watch Outpost, Northern Watch Encampment, and I uh, summon Thaddeus. So is he going to be in the, the gear he came out of the rift with? By touching a rift stone, the Arisen can travel. He's, he's wearing better than what I'm wearing. I'm fucking wearing burlap sacks. Uh, travel a twixt worlds instead of betwixt worlds, uh, which... A great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This will this allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you. However, there should, that should be a semicolon after you. Then, however. So you may find uh, that you need to hire new support pawns on a regular intervals. Okay, close. Hail, Arisen. Pray, nice. Ask what you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Tell me of pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. Oh shit! When I fucking do that, man. Well, it's like GTA when you're in third person. Nomads, we are often called. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. See, I was hoping in this game we were going to find out more about how, like, where pawns come from and why they are what they are. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fate's chosen, 
those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. All right, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk to Thaddeus. Oh, wait, no, that's not how I do it. Uh, how do I get... Oh, go to one push B, yeah. Here's one, here's one, hmm. The Arisen need never travel alone, for pawns are always willing to accompany them. As the Arisen, you will summon and form a covenant with your very own loyal pawn, your main pawn, who will share in your adventures and grow in strength and ability alongside you. You may also enlist the aid of support pawns who serve other Arisen in other worlds, other online players. Pawn Inclinations. There are four types of pawn inclinations. When you enter the covenant... Uh, with your main pawn, you will be able to select an inclination for them. This will determine certain aspects of the pawn's behavior, including their manner of speech, the actions they tend to take. However, all pawns serve the Arisen faithfully regardless of their inclination. Kind-hearted pawns. These pawns are attentive. I'm going to skip past because that's not what I picked. I picked, I picked calm. These pawns are strategic thinkers who can be counted upon to assist the Arisen no matter the difficulty faced. In battle, they are concerned with survival, favoring defense, and evasion, and employing clever tactics to best their foes. Shrewd and efficient, they will dispose of unneeded items in their packs on their own initiative. No, you did fuck up then. Alright, so... So, let me... I can't come save you. There's no way to do that. Uh, yeah, he sh He should be. All right, uh, so Thaddeus has got a trusty sword. It looks like it's just uh, like a broadsword. Oh, when I look at Thaddeus, it shows that he would likely progress to warrior from fighter. How do I see my regular inventory? Like, I can see my gear. Yep. No. I was already there. Yeah, no, but it's not... I don't see the f I picked up a bunch. I. Where the fuck is items? Well, the first thing is weapons. Oh. I found it. I found it. Okay. I have an apple. I'm going to. Can I eat it? If I hit A. If I, if I hit A, do I eat it? Use, give, combine, discard, cancel. Yeah, yeah, so use. I need to uh, eat more than that, man. I wish you could... There was an animation like other games nowadays, you know? Mm, not quite there yet. Items. I already did. I 
sleep on my woes, mayhap they'll go away. Yeah, I'm not gonna adjust uh, my like control sensitivities and stuff until I get used to the game, you know. Soon as my shift's done, I'm off to the tavern. <laughs> this guy, every time I draw my daggers, he gets all pissed. <laughs> A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Yeah, Thaddeus, where the fuck is it? Hmm. Oh, I don't need this right now. Best quality a soldier can have is loyalty. Oh, Wait, Thaddeus said it was a treasure chest, but I don't. S Thaddeus just said it was a treasure chest, but I, I, I don't see it. If I sleep on my woes, mayhap they'll go away. Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. It'll be my pieces they call masterworks someday. I'm surrounded by winches on all sides. Uh oh, okay, okay. Going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. This guy looks like Owen. This guy looks like Owen. A little... <laughs> so he, they told me to rest overnight. What are you up to? I'm stealing ore right now. I'm fucking stealing all this ore. Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. I'd rather not draw steel if I can avoid it. Hmm. Is there like a sparring area right here I can like practice? No, I'm not in town. I'm in this like village thing. No, they're totally different. This is an outpost. Well, that makes a big difference. I'm in an outpost. I'm... Well, I'm not in a village. I'm in an outpost. Well, having more of these to it's hand, not, serve us well in battle. It's not even a village. It, it's it's a, it's an outpost. It's an outpost for like defense. What? Who? There's no easy thing making a living as a soldier. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just stole some, some coin. I suppose I'll draw the water now, save myself a trip. I must be vigilant. The town's people depend on me. I ain't nothing but trouble working here. I hate to swear that little thin at each past year. end up feeling weary even after a day of rest or to polish up my gear tomorrow what I can do for you so we meet again 
There's a river right here. You still can't swim in this game. The brine will eat, will get us. Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in this world. It is recommended that you rest at inns at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your save data. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Staying at inn fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge, which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when you're taking damage. When resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Foresighted adventures will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when traveling far afield. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. We must rest. Though the sun is still up. Alright, so we're resting for free for the first time. He says if you go to some village or town, but there's a, a place called Melv where you can talk about vocations. One or more added. Wait, one or more add ons acquired items. Added items will be sent to you. Item storage. Item storage can be accessed at any inn by speaking with the innkeeper. Who's oh, that? Thaddeus is level 100. Make for Melv. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Oh, I can ch change my vocation right with this, right, 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 right from this guy. All right, what, what, it, we're gonna deposit the ore that I found. Where the hell is it? Because ore is heavy, probably. Hey, what's up? I, I don't have it yet, so I don't know. Oh, Rifter told me earlier. I think it, uh, I think the Ring of Assurance gives you damage resistance to both magic and physical attacks. Yeah, I just got that. It's just now. All right, so how do I go to the inventory of the shopkeep? Oh, wait. So back out. Withdraw. Here we go, baby. Alright. Alright. Let's go back to deposit. Go to Thaddeus. Wait, how do I go to Thaddeus? There we go. Alright. Select multiple. Nope. You cannot deposit items you have equipped. How do I unequip it? How do I unequip it? All right, I gotta back out. Cancel. Do come again. Can't. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. 
Oh. Hold on. This fucking douchebag just came up behind me out of nowhere to freaking offer his services. Leave me alone. I'm trying to talk to the innkeep, good sir. <laughs> All right. So I got a... He's uh, someone else's pawn. Oh, it's a Capcom pawn. I don't want Capcom pawns. Cancel. Alright, so I gotta go to equipment. Thaddeus. How do I, how do I unequip? Remove. Give. Remove. God, you're loud. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you down a little bit, I stalker. I've, I've already turned I've already turned you down by like 50 points <laughs> and you're still up. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, all right. Um, don't hire Thaddeus yet. Let me get him his good shit. Looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Rook is there. Uh, this that changes. A panda overflowing with tender affection. When offered as a gift, it depends the bond between giver and receiver. It deepens the bond between I'm going to leave this in storage for now. Uh, I'm also going to leave the art of metaphor metamorphosis is, is, is. Oh wait. Uh, makeshift gaul key. A key to the gaul. A relatively crude make. It will break after a single use. Uh... Let's take that. Let's see if we can combine anything. Combined. You can combine two materials to create <coughs> a new item. When combining, you can either choose the materials individually or select a combination that you have previously tried. You can also prioritize the inventory you want materials to be taken from first, the risens or the pawns. <coughs> <coughs> No, you you got a you got to refresh them. Yep. All right. All manner of vocational procedures can be carried out in the guild hall of a vocation guild. Change vocation. If you have unlocked a vocation, you can change it. To at any time. Unlocking a new vocation requires discipline, which is accrued when defeating enemies and completing quests. Skills. Each vocation trades different skills, and you'll be able to learn new skills as you rank within your vocation rises. Learning skills requires discipline. Core skills can be employed from the moment they are acquired, but the weapon skills must be equipped before they can be used. <laughs> Augments. These are special abilities that can be equipped regardless of your current vocation. Augments are acquired by spending discipline and are active from the moment they are equipped. You can equip up to six augments at once. A broader variety of augments will become available as your vocation rank increases. Yeah, I think the augments are the ones that you could like st get things from like other classes and then put them on you. Remember? Uh, all right, so how much discipline do I have, if any? I have 140. Thaddeus. Biting Wind. I thought I already had Biting Wind. Oh, I need more. I need 200 discipline to be able to do anything. Scarlet Kisses. Yeah, I can't do shit. Yeah, so if we don't unlock other... Vocations, you gotta spend discipline points.
subtly, subtly decreases the likelihood of being targeted by foes. Gratification slightly restores health when you deliver the killing blow to a foe. Poise reduces the stamina consumption when struggling in a foe's grip. Vigor reduces the stamina consumed when clinging to or pinning down foes. And verve uh, augments your strength. So do I have? I have no augments unlocked yet. All right. Cancel. Do come again. I want. I wish it wasn't cancel. I wish it was like I don't know. Back out. All right. Equipment. Remove. Give to Aaron. All right. I am in this case. All right, I'm I'm putting Thaddeus's golden sword on and his golden shield. What? Well, uh so I just equipped, so I have the, 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 the default sword you start with, and that does 113 damage uh, for, for, for strength. Uh, but when I put the, the one from the, the pre-order, that goes up to 147. Um, yeah, well, I'm thinking we could dress. What I'm thinking, right, is these weapons are gonna be good for, like you said, a few levels, and then later on when we can fucking augment shit and dragon forge it. I bet you these things are gonna be better than other things in the game that we could get later on. I'm not either. I'm keeping on. I'm holding on to them. All right, Ring of Assurance, a ring that finds frequent use among fledgling adventures. Slightly boosts the wearer's defense and magic defense. <clears throat> Again, I think if you... Uh... All right. Oh, I put it on Thaddeus. Thaddeus is wearing it. Uh, all right, I got to go to myself, and I got to... Equip my good daggers. So the daggers. Oh shit, that's a big difference. <clears throat> so the the default daggers that they they that I found when I was in the uh, quarry, when equipped, does 98 damage and has a knockdown power of 90 and a slash strength of 100. <clears throat> now the slash strength and knockdown power stay the same when I equip the pre-order ones, but they do uh, 24 more damage yeah i think they i think they do need to do some uh patching though for the frame rate issues i, I like that opening cutscene was a little choppy um but i think they'll do that now where was i headed not much going on hmm I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like. Yeah, to the audio. Come see me anytime. The audio is really good. Deposit. Oh, I thought you meant like it was crackling in a good way. What, like, uh, what was he trying to roar like, uh, like Katy Perry? Always a pleasure. I think it's too hard to back out of the menu when you're talking to people. Uh, they need to simplify that. Yeah, I do, but I keep saying cancel, cancel, and I have to go down. It should be like, 
You shouldn't have to like scroll down and stuff. It should just. Uh, I don't know. Uh, quest maps, items, status. What the fuck was I trying to do? Oh, uh, item. No, I gotta give the key to to me because it was on Thaddeus. Oh, Corey. So me and I uh, Rifter were talking about this earlier. So it's even more simplified than we thought. The clothing. So instead of there being, remember before there was pants and then armor, and then there was boots, and then there was a shirt, and then there was armor, and then there was also gloves. Now it's upper body, lower body. That's it. So the gloves are part of the shirt or armor. The boots are part of the pants or armor. I, there's also obviously hats and headpieces, and that, and there's also, there's also gonna be capes as well, but. They also have some clipping issues with, like, when you put a shield on your back, which pisses me off. And Rifter, it pissed him off, too. I think they'll probably fix that, like, in one of the earlier patches, like, the clipping. But um, I'm not putting a cape. Well, Thaddeus is not going to have a cape anytime soon because of that clipping issue. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Oh, yo! This motherfucker charges a thousand gold the rest? That's insane! It's. I'm level one! What the. I mean, level two! Why the fuck is it a thousand gold? It should be ten gold! <laughs> or like one gold! It's it's a thousand gold to rest one night at the first lodge you find. No, 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 but you don't understand. It, that's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. Like it. it, it yeah, I know, but they shouldn't. It shouldn't be dropping that much. It, it it's like in, it's like it's like inflation. Yeah, fucking inflation. Thaddeus is fucking equipped better than me already. Like it or not, I must go where duty calls me. You'll get what's coming to you. I pissed off the blacksmith. All right, um, all right, let's head out. Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was- Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the main gate. Yeah, I got killed by the goblin too, dude. I was trying to eat. I was trying to... I was trying to eat, I was trying to eat, like, food, and I didn't know how to get to my inventory, I went to equipment, and I had, like, apples and pears and shit, and I couldn't eat it, and the goblin, when I hit the pause button, was mid, sh like, flying through the air, and as soon as I unpause, he landed on me. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. Setting a priority quest. You can select a quest to prioritize from 
among those you have accepted. If the quest destination is known, a mark will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they will be able to guide you to your objective. However, pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as a priority. Aha! 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 <laughs> Remember that? Nice talker. We were talking about that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to make it so you guys can include your audio. I think I meant to do that before and I didn't. Uh, power. Audio. Audio. All right. What's What, what movie is that from? Aha. <laughs> it's from Coming to America, the barber shop. <laughs> All right, some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Talking, uh, talking, taking on multiple quests at once comes with a risk of being unable to act in time, and this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quests and taking on new ones. Hey, Knights of Arcade, quick question. So when you were at that initial camp, did you access the inventory to get, like, oh, you did. You said you already did. Never mind. Because you said you, uh, that that pre-order weapon was good until about level six for you. Yep. <clears throat> well, I'm but, still using it because uh, I didn't buy that other weapon. They were at ten thousand. It, it was, was too 10, expensive, right? To, to buy a weapon better than the one I'm using. Really? Yep. Everything under ten thousand was equal or, or equal or worse. So yeah. I, I I think the loot economy, the fact that we're gonna spend a thousand gold at the shittiest of shitty lodges, is insane. The first it's insane. Though. Yeah, I know that, but I went to go save again after I had equipped the stuff on Thaddeus, so that because I didn't do it, I didn't I didn't do it. But what happened was I updated Thaddeus's equipment. Right, so that way on the rift it's updated, and I can't do that because I'm not gonna spend a thousand. That's like all my money. <laughs> Use a camp uh, thing. There's a bunch of them around town on the ground. I'm not in town yet. I'm oh, in yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah, yeah. outpost. Oh, here's <laughs> a range, a shooting range. Oh, thing for a sword fighter too. Exactly what you're talking about. It's in metal. Let us make haste. That no life me. All right, let me. Uh... Party went up there. Wasting my time. Me... Shit. Um. Who asked me that? Oh, that was you, Corey. Wait, how do I access my character? So you're good to go, right? All right. Items map. Where Ooh, the like, fuck is this bitch at? Alright, right trigger, border watch lounge. That's... Where am I? Where's my marker? Quests. Oh, here's my marker. What's this? Box cart border cart watch cart. stores. Be lost on our account. To Leonard. Deliver the letter to Leonard. Alright, oh. Thaddeus. Where's this fucking chest? Anywhere over there or something. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, where the hell is Leonard? I don't know, but Thaddeus uh, told me there's a chest around here, and I, always do that shit. I, don't, I don't see it. <laughs> Ooh, it's in this tower. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. There's one tower where you jump into it through like a hole. Oh, here side. it is. Well, they'll say, there's a ladder nearby. You look around. Where the fuck's this ladder you talk about? <laughs> Fulgaris Lord. Was that a book? Items. Fulgaris Lord. A grimoire that casts a spell upon being read, usable even by those incapable of magic, invokes high leaven, a lightning spell. Isn't there a way to, like, fast equip inventory items? Hot key, you mean? Like, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't delved into that yet. Oh, 
Yeah, well, you're not as si you're not as simple as other people I know. <laughs> no, but what what does simple do though? What was simple's inclination? We've met no foes for some time, but tis all the more reason for us to be on our guard. Bitch! I went all the way up the stairs and the bitch hurtled over him. Paul, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to put Thaddeus on that, but I did it for two reasons. One, I didn't like the voice options. And that was the main reason, to be honest. Uh, and I was trying to replicate his voice from the first game. So Calm did that the best. And then the other thing was I liked the fact that Calm was more of a strategy tactician in combat rather than straightforward who just pulls a Leroy Jenkins and is fucking... Bum rushes into combat. There are four commands that the Arisen can use to direct their pawn companions, and their effects vary according to the circumstances in which they are used, such as when uh, in or out of combat. The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawn's response and course of action in various situations. Go! Instruct pawns to act independently of the Arisen. During combat, it directs pawns to spread out across the battlefield. It can also be used to request assistance with carrying out an action, to request guidance to a location, or to instruct a pawn to resume guidance that has been interrupted. To me, instructs pawns to approach the Arisen. During combat, it directs pawns to fight by the Arisen side. Wait instructs pawns to remain where they are until they are given different a different command. During combat, it directs pawns to cease attacking and focus on aiding the arisen indirectly. See, that, that's good to know. Uh, help instructs pawns to prioritize support, healing, and recovery. Freshly rested right. as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. <laughs> Daddy is at work, boys and girls. Yeah! Oh, the guard! The, the guard at the edge of the camp is helping. There I see it. We trounced our foe well and true. Come here, Thaddeus. Fucking bitch, fuck this quest. Wait, wait, wait. No, Thaddeus. I have nothing further to add. Well, you did a good job slaying your first goblin, sir. Where ought we to go now? Hmm. I'll carefully conserve my strength. And endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Ought we not add an archer to our ranks? I was thinking the same thing, sir. Uh, Jill, when Jill gets her pawn going, uh, we're gonna get an archer. Um, are are you either? You, no, neither of you guys are archers, right? I'm it's mage pawn. and. Yours is? Okay, uh, is, are they in the rift and equipped yet, or no? Alright, when you grab Thaddeus, let me know if he's got the golden sword. And, uh, and the ring, and as well as the upgraded shield. Okay. Oh, wait, this looks like a... Oh, that's nothing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, we got some goblins over here. I like my RPGs. 
That's right, I remember early on in the original game, if those goblins hit you with a fucking torch at night, they would fucking one-shot you. <laughs> Same thing with if they did that big lunge attack. I like going out at night because then you fight skeletons. Yeah, I wanna, I'm going to fight at night a lot too. I think it's a good way to get XP quick. Yep. 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 I think because... From that We've traveled for some time to without a mage in our party. Town. The guy says, do you want to accompany us? The ox cart. You say, yeah, Do sure. you think you I need to go back? So you hop in the ox cart, and then, uh, no. You hop in the ox cart, and... We no, I'm, ta I'm talking about... You know, I'm going to go back to try to hire you, because there are harpies lurking about. Come on, Thaddeus. Yes, master. Let's, anyway, uh, let's head back. So you... Uh, go on that ox cart, and when you're with that, you have like this captain of the guard with you, and like four other soldiers, and you just like mop up whenever you like running around with them. You just like mop up shit. Just boop, 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 because they, like, they like kill everything. Must hold out. Someone like comes. Job this. Well met. No, back out, touch the rift, and say, search for friends. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the rift right now so I can pick up you guys' pawns. Uh. Where is the rift stone? Where's the rift stone? Oh wait, it's right, it's right up here. I'd hasten home, but it's not my duty. Yeah, wait until I go in there. That way, I, up I think it should update Thaddeus once I get in there. There's Leonard, son of a bitch. So I, I gave up on the quest that I was on, right? Went to leave town. That's the guy I was looking for. I'm like motherfucker. All right, how do I bring up the menu? For what? To add, look for friends? Uh, yeah, to look like to search. To leave, the pond, leave the rift, and it'll say, it'll give you that menu. When you go to leave the rift. Okay, search for a pawn. Set a pawn quest. Pawns in a rift. Leave the rift. Search for a pawn. Advance pawn. Search friends pawns. All right, I found Lady... Mina, yep. which is Night Stalker. Lady Mina. And I found another one named Thoth, which is level 14, That's which has got to be Rifter. That's, That's got to be Rifter. Yeah, dude, that guy, yep. came, that guy came in. Not yet. For me, he knew exactly <coughs> where to go. He knew where hidden shit was. And he, like, kept casting fire on everybody. So did Mina, but... I, like, Mina I just six, added... Like I just added both their... their, their you guys' pawns... Yeah. Uh... As favorites, I'm gonna hire you first, Night Stalker. All right, cool. Um, because hiring Rifters with him being such a high level above me, like it's gonna reduce my XP gain. Oh yeah, right. And uh, Corey, uh, maybe go into the Rift. Did you go into the Rift yet, or no? Um, are we friends? Yeah. I was say maybe we'll double check just in case. So I just I just got lady equipment I equipment. Here and I'll tell you. Don't take it personal. Yeah. Options. Don't take it camera. Personal, yeah. Camera. I want my camera super close. You, I wish I could make my camera like it, it's it's either the closest camera distance is far, and then you go wicked far. It's oh. like I wish the camera I can make it close. How do you make it close? Well, I don't know, but I know I have a skill I could have bought for my for my archer, and that skill zoomed in on the on the thing I was fighting. So maybe it's just like certain skills will do it. I, don't know, I know my archer does. But All right, so Lady Mina, level eight, zero roof crystals. I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. Why are you ripping? Oh, you gave her white. You give her white hair, huh? Wait, yeah. I, I was going for the whole uh, kind of like uh, is that bitch's name, Daenerys or whatever. Targaryen, yeah. Yeah. Reward, 
Rakestone, Star, Pawn Quest. Like Travel it. together for a day and night. Uncle Dave, level 9, Gamertag, so Night Stalker. Denarius what, wait, what specialization? Uh, what? what specialization? Oh. It says inclination, kind heart, specialization, none. need of an ear to listen, um, you have but to ask. Um, maybe I haven't got to that yet. Pawn uh, quests are tasks given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon a task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain you items and acquire pawn badges. So you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. Uh, so basically something I when got to yet, huh? setting a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive you can either select a specific items to nominate or, or nominate a sum of gold items will be removed from your inventory gold will be subtracted from your funds it's also possible to trade with other arisen by setting the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest objective so i'm going to trade rifter out so like when i was talking to you when i was talking I'll to you and rifter earlier and i was like and I was like, oh, hey, I want you guys to get me armor for Thaddeus. I could actually just put that in the game. Like, I want Thaddeus to get better armor and make that a thing. But I, I got to figure out how it works and, like, navigate it and all that crap. But Yeah, yeah, let, keep me up on that, too. Well, you have one already on your, like, two. Like, two, I think. Ooh, an orc. Oh, he's, just a really big uh, he's level two. Yeah, I'm level three. He's level two. Night Stalker's pawn is eight. Level eight. I endeavor to be level 20 uh, by Saturday. <laughs> Fighter. Remember the little lanterns? We hang on our side. Oh, I like these. Yep. Yep, they're there. They're theirs again. I know, I know in the old game, like, if you left the rift and came back in the rift, that would, like, re-upload your data. I'm gonna try to, I'll leave, let me, let me, I'll leave the rift and come back. You, I'm gonna just fight him. Coward, what? Cowardly custard. Da Daisy's uh, being rambunctious right now. Come here, Daisy. Yeah. Come here, Daisy. Here you go. Here you go. Is, that's like a Urukai. Like a really big fucking goblin. I was going to make a Urukai in the pawn. Uh, creator thing just for the hell of it, but I ended up not getting a chance because I spent the entire two weeks making Thaddeus and me <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna try to find you now Corey I don't see her maybe you need to do the same thing maybe you need to leave the rift and come back in it said something. I watched a video where the guy said you have to sleep sometimes at an end twice, but don't do that. No, never mind. Wrong game. I'm thinking of dying, uh, dying light. All right. What did you do, puppy? Yeah. What? What? What, Daisy? Heels huh? What? In part one, you made top 42. I feel bad for Taylor because he ordered it from Best Buy and it's not getting delivered to Best Buy until oh, tomorrow. <laughs> so he has to wait. Yeah. And then well, he's going to drive four. Anyway. And then he's going to drive. Then he's going to drive four eight hours eight to get to Best eight, Buy. <laughs> eight hours. Back. Yeah. Because he, yeah, he lives out, he lives out in That's Iowa. Like out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna trade out. I, I forgot so like by having a high level character with you that takes from your It reduces Yep, yep. Okay, so I'm getting rid of Rip. Sorry, buddy. 
I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna pick Corey. I'm gonna take Corey. Well, I, 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 I took Night Stalker because it's Night Stalker. Okay. Mm. I'm not that tired. At least that, if that he. Tired. Yeah, if he was above level 10, I'd probably want it, but he's, he's below level 10. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, four, oh I, just, I just assembled the ripstone. That's what she meant. She goes, there's a forgotten ripstone around here. I forgot you can, you can like, fix them. Yeah, you have to fix them. That way you can yeah. use them. And then there's quartz mm. crystals, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, when I was high level doing it in the first game, dude, I had so many poor crystals, it was like candy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like I would fight something, poor crystal, go someplace <laughs> else, fight something, poor crystal. <laughs> Especially when you strategically... The animation was cool. Because there's those permanent ones, and then there's ones you can make. So, like, you can pretty yeah, much cover the whole map. If you do it... He would throw them up in the air, and, I like, the teleport. One, there was this road where you had to go across... And there was trolls. I was on the way to a castle. And these trolls would always fuck me up. So I did a pork crystal right near there. Ooh, level up. I'll level that. Uh, Corey, did you even come back from the rift? I'm going to the rift right now. Okay. Okay, Lady Mina. Let's see where. What's your guy's name? Corey. I'm gonna exit the rift and come back. Oh, that's right. I think. Part one, was there any of that? Oh, was it? Well, because there was another game where you had that name. Oh, yeah. Because, uh. Set a pawn quest. Travel together for a day and a night. Wakestone shard. I don't. I don't have a wakestone shard. Do I? How do I? How would I? You get one. You're given one. Remember, we we get one free. There's. It should be oh. in your. Uh, it might be in your. Store oh, okay. Okay. All right. I did that. I did that. Do you need pawns? And then you find pieces of wakestone. Pieces of wakestone. When you fight creatures. But yeah, we got given. Wow, one. dude. The top. The top pawns already. Oh, are uh, our leg level 20 already dude 18 nice. 20 21 well these people went hard straight on missions and they're probably in a group who were like you know they pawns in the rift leave the rift i'm gonna look at the official pawns and see when i see osmond gold what wait weapons go prudence cars on you no what what you're not what? in neither is Wait, gamer tag is fine. No, no, you uh, you go when you look no, at it, it says. It won't give me that. Search for a pawn, friends yeah, it's pawns. Not, it's, it's not giving me that. Yeah, it's not giving it to me either. Yeah. <sighs> I, I did it too. What, Daisy? What? What? All right, listen, I'm gonna have to end my stream because uh. A, I still need to get Corey's pawn before I venture out, and B, uh, you you're not seeing my pawn, right? Well, uh, it, it, might, it might be. Well, maybe it's gonna have a full group. That and days, yeah, you can only have four people, man. You think they still give me that option? Though. Nice. Okay, Isabella. So. I got a puppy. I got a puppy here named Daisy, who's demanding a walk from me. So I gotta give the puppy what the puppy wants. So I'm gonna end the stream here. We did a good introduction. Got the characters loaded into the game. Found a couple of my friends' pawns. When I return, we should be able to hire my other friend's pawn. That's an archer. And continue on our journey. What am I gonna get? How do I, how do I save? Yeah, are you are you save also at the end? That's why they said sometimes it's good to save at the end because auto save aren't always. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. I only saved one so far. Two thousand. All right. I was like, Fuck.
<clears throat> All right. I will end this stream. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.